Leading local tonight, efforts by North Dakota's legislature to override two vetoes from the governor failed today. A bill to ban transgender athletes from playing in public school sports met the two-thirds vote threshold needed in the House, but came short in the Senate. The House voted 68 to 25 to pass the bill, while the Senate voted 28 to 19, just four votes shy of a two-thirds majority. I'm deeply concerned, and I expressed it today, that the governor's veto um, throws our girls and our families in North Dakota, which is a mass majority, that do not believe in this gender ideology under the bus. But the legislature did have the votes to override a bill to ban statewide elected officials, namely the governor and the state health officer, from enacting a statewide mask mandate. The bill still allows for cities, counties, schools, and businesses to make their own mask rules. We make the policy, Mr. President. We're the lawmakers. And we don't circumvent the process by the stroke of the pen, stealing that individual liberty and freedom from our constituents. The votes on those two bills wrap up day 71 of the session. The legislature is expected to finish by next week. A petition that would make it harder to amend the state constitution has been approved for circulation by the Secretary of State. It would increase the percentage of votes needed to amend the Constitution from a simple majority to 60 percent. The petition also limits amendments to the Constitution to one measure at a time. Secretary of State Al Jager says the sponsoring committee has one year to circulate the petition. If enough signatures are collected, the measure will be placed on the next statewide special election ballot in 2020.